Hi, this is Mike. Um, in the last episode, I showed you how students will upload their assignments into Blackboard. And now let me show you uh, what the faculty member will do with those assignments once students have uploaded them. Um, so what you'll do to view your assignments, to view your students' assignments, is um, go to your Blackboard site and scroll down on the left-hand side to the control panel and click on your control panel. Okay, once you're in your control panel, um, if you scroll all the way over uh, to the right-hand side, in, under Assessments, you'll see Grade Center. So let me go to Grade Center. And once you create an assignment in Blackboard, uh, what Blackboard will do is it will create a column for that assignment in your Grade Center. Um, so if you notice, I can scroll all the way over um, using my scroll bar here on the bottom and I can see the video assignment that I just created and that my student just completed and I see an exclamation point here telling me that that student has submitted the paper but the paper needs grading okay so I can either just click in this box here and give it a grade without reading the paper which I don't suggest um, or I can click on this little chevron to see some options and I can look at the grade details And what I'll see here is everything about that particular grade. So I will see the current grade, um, who the user is, and some basic information, but I don't see the paper anywhere. If I scroll down a little bit under attempts, I'll see um, here's the attempt on September 9th, 2009, and it will tell me that I've got some actions here, one of which is view attempt. So I'll click on view attempt and there's the paper and I can click on that and read it right online or download it whatever I would like to do I can give uh, user feedback once I've read it so I can give them a grade I can put comments here and I can also attach a local file so if I made changes um, on their Word document for example um, if I made notes, then I can return it directly here and sort of try to go paperless in my class. Um, I would just click Choose File. I would select whatever paper it was that I needed to choose for that. Um, I could leave notes to myself. That's stuff that the student won't see. And I could even attach a local file that the student won't have access to. So it's a really good place to keep yourself organized um, and to have everything for the class in one place rather than have people email things back and forth. And that's it. I'll click Submit. And if I scroll down, I will notice that I've now got a grade for the paper, feedback to user, and notes that I have made to myself. And that's it. If I click OK, it will take me back to the Grade Center. I can scroll over to that student's paper, and I'll see there's the grade for the video assignment.